So I'm going to create a simple project uh, only to test the web workers. I have no problem of executing this page because it just loaded, the host is nearby, immediately the page is loaded, I haven't even written anything, no issue at all. But if your page contains something which is a blocking one, what I am going to do, I am going to write, uh, okay let me make a slightly bolder text. So page loaded instantly appears in our case because there is no blocking, not even a script. So I am going to add a JavaScript now. I really want to test in pure JavaScript environment, so I am I probably try to avoid using jQuery in this example. <laughs> I am just writing a JavaScript function, sorry, uh, a call maybe using JavaScript call. There is a global object called XML HTTP request. This is actually using this particular class only your Ajax uh, function was built using jQuery. So this XML HTTP request, it's something using this object, you can call any external a URL and get the data from there. So I am going to call request especially open. I am going to open the connection with an external URL having get method and one URL. I am going to set it to false because I really want to make it as a synchronous call. Mean only that server returns some result then only proceed next line. So if you set it true it will become an asynchronous so it won't wait for your next line. Okay, The URL this is the one I have uh, made it for your testing purpose. So this particular URL I built in such a way if you specify delay. So assuming 5 I am setting, once I enter, you will have to wait at least 5 seconds to see a result. It took 5 seconds. So I, I created that server side script so that it sends a response only after 5 seconds. So you define a delay till the time the server won't respond anything. So we created a kind of a blocking thread in this case. So your XML, your uh, JavaScript will make a call to this URL, but the server will only send the result after some X or Y second. Till the time what is happening to your page, that's the one we have to identify. So you can test, use, you can use the same URL. I kept added a cross domain policy. It can be accessed from any URL. So I'm going to set delay five. send the request and let's put a console for testing it is called response text it will give you a response text back what is the response text which you saw in the screen that is called like response. This is the response. It could be any kind of data. Now I added uh, this kind of blocking call on the top of script. So if you call this page, your page doesn't load. Keep doing something because there is a blocking script is there on the top. 
after five seconds only it will complete till the time you cannot even see the ui so it is totally blocking everything not only it blocks it blocks each and every stuff for example some clever developer what they'll do to avoid no use at all because it's a block even though anywhere if you keep because we were telling the script block placement but in this case it is going to block you at any point of time if you have any button for example which user wants to click immediately the button itself doesn't appear but sometime you would the moment you see the page immediately won't like to click the button do some other work everything gets blocked you so you see nothing until you complete that particular blocking call so to avoid that what we can do that's where the web workers comes into picture so let me make it asynchronous of course in one line i can make it asynchronous but i would like to tell what is a web worker so that the task could be brought into background let the dom load without any issue create a new javascript file some name move this block here only change this is the external javascript file once it completes the talk it should report back to the main page what is the data it received so instead of this one i am going to use the built in function called post message as soon as the script receive the result from this url it will get the response it will send it to the main thread how i can do that so it's pretty simple create a variable called worker or whatever here new worker these are all built in uh, classes new so it's a class tell where is your external script is located i kept in the root itself so i can directly my web worker now wait for the worker and just listen uh, any me sorry, on message if any message is available it will report you back now you can of course event data i hope the data it is it is event so this worker thread will ex execute this particular external javascript somewhere in a different thread it, it's a hardware intensive and whenever it receives the result it will report so now what exactly going to happen for say for said i'm just closing and opening just keep everything because the console is going to come immediately page loaded the worker may be working behind the screen the moment it receive the result uh, wait oh my i think i am not calling it okay it's correct my web worker oh yes looks fine okay okay so after 5 second it loaded but it did not block your page to be loaded it just immediately did every work it took the particular task to background 
that was separately loaded. So using this one, a blocking call has been made into a, a asynchronous call. Mean one particular task was brought brought into a background so that the page loading was not affected. So without web worker, this particular blocking call stopped loading the entire page itself. Now we use a web worker to make it as an asynchronous block. So let this particular block work behind the screen and whenever it receives a message, it can report it. This is in fact a kind of introduction to a socket. How you can create chat application, how you can get a asynchronous, something runs behind and keep getting some data independently. Let the user see any pages. This kind of thing we would be using for our kind of uh, real time messaging kind of scenarios. So worker thread what we often call them. So simple example, a blocking call has been made as a non-blocking call because uh, the blocking thread has been moved into a, some other thread so that the main thread works without any issues. So that's a simple example of your web worker. By simply having a web worker call the external script and that external script can do any, um, I mean, blocking calls or whatever it is. So once the result available, using post message, it will report that message to main thread and then you can use it for your execution purpose. That's a simple example of uh, 